Okay, I want to simplify some expressions using the associative property. So my first problem, I have 1 fifth times 5x. Now you probably know that that's just going to come out to be 1x, but the associative property is the reason why it turns out that way. So my first step is to rearrange the grouping. So I have 1 fifth times 5, then times x. So that's the associative property that allows us, since it's all multiplication here, to change the grouping from 5 and x to 1 fifth and 5. Now I can just multiply 1 fifth times 5, that's 1, times x is going to be just x. So if you want to know the reason why 1 fifth times 5x is x, it's because of the associative property. Okay, next problem, 3 times 1 third x, same type of problem. Again, I'll apply the associative property. So I have 3 times 1 third times x. So I change the grouping from here to here, and I can do that because it's all multiplication. That's going to be 1 times x, which again is just x. So the reason why 3 times 1 third x is x is because of the associative property. Now, next problem, 12 times 2 thirds x. I'll do the same thing, 12 times 2 thirds. I'll group those together times x. Now, let's say I want to multiply 12 times 2 thirds. Maybe I'll do it this way, 3 divides into 12 four times. 4 times 2 is 8. So I end up with 8 for this expression times x, so the answer to that is just 8x. So you're going to see a lot of problems like this as you progress through the book We're using the associative property. These steps right here you will end up probably just doing mentally, but for these problems in this section right here, it's a good idea to show the associative property so you get used to convincing yourself that that's the reason why these answers turn out the way they do, 8x.